Okay, so these are the materials that I'll be using. I have a picture here, it does show better on my phone or my computer, but, but you can see that the top is made of a mesh fabric, so I picked up a mesh fabric in this nice navy blue colour. I'm planning to layer the top so it'll be two layers of this, because I don't know if I can show you guys, but if it's just one layer, you can kind of see it through these holes here, but if you double it, you can't. So it'll be two layers of this. If that makes any sense, I don't know. I then bought some red piping. I know that the stitch on her top is a decorative stitch. I went for piping because I haven't really experimented much with decorative stitches and I feel like this will look a bit more professional for me. I don't know. I, it'll get the same effect but yeah. I, I don't know whether the piping is too thin or too thick yet but I just kind of estimated it and I think this looks pretty okay. It might be too small but I, I don't really mind. It gives the same look so who cares. <laughs> And then I got this zip here, this small 4 inch one. It'll be a half zip top as you can see here, well I say half, it's probably a quarter zip in that, but yeah. These are my materials for the top. Okay, so before I get into the business of the construction, I thought I'd show you guys how I plan out making something. So for costume I will always get the Cos Planner app and as you can see here I have my reference pictures. It only really lets you save 10, but what I do is where there's process pictures, I just add materials and things like her leggings because I don't put process pictures there, I just put things that I need to buy or fabric examples and things like that just so I can add more pictures. And of course you have tasks here. Every cosplayer or costumer has this app, I can assure you, but if you're one of the few that don't, do get it because it is so helpful. And it's great anyway <laughs> so aside from that I if I need to draw out my patterns here which is kind of a very rushed drawing and it's done in pen so it kind of sucks but you can kind of see what I'm going for here side parts are splitting to there's a front and a back and the zip there will also be a collar and then the sleeves are like um, let me try and think of the word is it baseball t-shirts raglan t-shirts I can't remember but they have that kind of sports sleeve sorry this is my camera <laughs> they have that kind of sports sleeve style so I'm kind of excited to work on this because it's so different from anything I've made before um I also have like things I need to buy like her leggings which I got on Poshmark thanks to a friend and my materials that's how I begin my sewing journey <laughs> Okay, so I've gotten pretty far since I last updated, um, but I drafted my patterns, which you can see over there, and I did cut some, well, I cut all of the pieces out so far. Um, I haven't done the cuffs of the sleeves or the collar yet because I do those last, but what I'm doing is because the fabric has these little holes in it, I might have explained this already, but I'm layering it um, so that there's two pieces of fabric so this is the front, that'll be the back, and yeah, I've just overlocked these edges. I've left this open so I can sew the zip in, but that's what I've done so far. Okay, so as you can see, I have sewn the piping into the side part here, and what I'm going to do next is sew this part <laughs> onto the side of the front here, and then I will be sewing the piping in between the curves here and then also doing that, so repeating the other side of that. I don't know what that sentence just was, I hope you guys can understand, but um, I don't make tutorials, I'm just kind of vlogging my process. <laughs> so I've made a lot more progress now and I realised in the last shot when I was talking about this panel here that I forgot to put the piping in this seam, as you can see here. And I feel really stupid, <laughs> but I did realise that this was a little bit too big here because I want to be able to see this from the front um, and this is just a bit off and you can't really see it from the front so I do have to take out anyway so at least there's that, I'm not wasting time. And I've sewn the top of the sleeve here with the piping there and I'm going to do that on the other side and then sew the side here to the back 
and we shall see what happens next. I usually sew down, if there's difficult edges to sew piping onto when it's sandwiched between two pieces of fabric, I usually sew it down onto the first layer first and then bring that over and sew that over the top. So I don't know whether I've created that or whether everybody does it but it helps me so much. Okay so we've hit our first issue, well I say first, I do have to still put the piping in that seam but <laughs> um, I when I cut out both of my front and back panels they matched perfectly and now that I'm trying to sew it on this round edge with the side it's it's too short, it's sort of coming to there so I, I don't understand, maybe I'll have to cut this again and make it longer because I do have enough fabric I don't know but something's gone wrong here and I know sewing is all about trial and error but ah uh, that sucks see I am not crazy they are the perfect match maybe these sides aren't oh my god what's happening I don't know I don't know what's happening I'll figure it out I'll find something to do okay I figure it out and I know I sound pretty stupid now but I remember leaving this small gap for the sleeves but then I kind of modified the sleeve pattern so that it wouldn't have this gap there um, it made sense in my head now I'm saying it it sounds like I'm just a really irresponsible sewer but I swear I am um, so yeah now it lines up properly so yeah like I said trial and error Okay, so the sides are all sewn up, the piping is finally here, <laughs> um, the back is also done, and now, like I said, the collar will be left to last, so now I'm just working on the sleeves. I'm thinking this part here might be a bit too wide for my neck, but I can easily just unpick this, alter this a little bit because I do have very small shoulders and arms, and just reset it back in. But, so far, it's only been about 3-4 hours working on this, which is pretty good. Hi guys, it's been a while since I updated you all. I actually finished a different costume, <laughs> but I am just adding the finishing touches to this, which is the cuffs and the collar. So as you can see, I've sewn one on here. They are a bit longer than your usual cuff. A usual cuff would be like kind of like that, or to that length. But my sleeves, this part, tend out to be a bit too short for my actual arms. I always think that my limbs, for some reason, are shorter than they should be because I am really, really short. And usually I make everything too long. So here's um, the kind of shape. I don't really know how to explain it, but I basically measured my forearm, my wrist, and around my forearm as well as the opening to this here and just made this little rectangle thing that I'm going to be sewing to the other sleeve over there and uh, then I'm on to the collar okay so very close to completion all I have now to do is to make the collar and sew it on and I have this pattern out right now I kind of suck at making collars but basically I will just cut out a long rectangle of fabric like super long, uh, pin it around my neck hole and then cut it where I need to so yeah I would advise making a better pattern than that but I mean it works for me and yeah anyway <laughs> so I've made it longer than I need to um, on the sides here just so I've supposed to overlock it and just to figure out how far down I want the zip to come I'm pretty happy with how it is right now because obviously I have to take into account as well the seam allowance on the neckline to the collar and things like that that I'm not that good at explaining out but I'm going to sew around these edges, um, sew this onto the neckline and then I'll update you when I'm putting the zipper in and ta-da she is finished it fits really nicely, it's kind of tight but I'm okay with that and I can't wait to wear it to MCM London next week and get some cool pictures with my Tony <laughs> thankfully this I say thankfully, I do really enjoy sewing, but thankfully this was the only thing I had to make for this costume and altogether it took about two days so I think together around six or seven hours to put together which is pretty good 
over the span of two days. We hit some bumps along the way, but she looks good and I like her and I'm proud that I made it. And I think I'm one of the only people to make this Pepper Potts cosplay, so that's pretty cool. And uh, if you're planning on doing it, do so. Also, if you're wondering what that is, that is all of my endgame Black Widow stuff. Let's not even go there. There's a reason why I didn't make a making a video on that. But anyway, yeah, I'm really happy with it. Okay, so last but not least, I have my screen accurate leggings, which I got on Poshmark, but an American friend of mine was able to ship them for me. And I love them. Like I'm not a leggings or sportswear person, but these are the best leggings I've ever worn, and one of the only pads I've worn, but still, they're really, really nice. And they are by the brand ALO, ALO, something like that. I don't know sports brands, but I love them and they're great.